Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about fun over fidelity. A little play on words here, but I get a lot of calls from people. I get a lot of information on the room forums and it seems everybody is obsessed with power. I have a 4,000 watt subwoofer amp and I want to put my subwoofer in the closet. Okay, so these are the ends of the continuum, I guess, that, that you can look at, the behavior and the thinking behind the behavior. So quantity is not something that we want in a critical listening environment. We want balance. That's the key here. We want balance. We want to be able to hear everything, every note, every octave band. It must live and die on its own volition. It can't be artificially reinforced by the room. We have to have a balance between the reflected energy in the room and the direct energy of our sources, speakers, instruments, whatever they are. One of the things that this fun over fidelity uh, situation, well, let's place the subs in the corners of the room, okay? <clears throat> so we'll place the subs in a corner of a room where all the room modes end, all the pressures end at the intersection of boundary surfaces. We're going to put a low frequency producing device in that area of the room and excite all that pressure. It's nonsense, okay? It's quantity versus quality. You won't get a quality response curve out of that. You definitely won't get definition and separation. And you'll excite middle and high frequency modes in the corners. So it's not a good thing here. It's more, it's not better. Large drivers, small room volume, same problem. The room loads. You can't hear anything. So you excite the peaks below 100 that these small rooms have. And then at 70 cycles, because of the 8-foot floor-to-ceiling dimension, it slides. So you have big peaks, and then it slides. There's your baseline. So you get a minus 7 here, plus 12 here. 19 dB swing. What are you losing here? Okay. More is not better. We want this, you know, we want this. We want smooth. We don't want all that stuff. Idol worship, the gear rack in the middle. My gosh, I see gear racks that are six, eight feet high. You can't have anything between the speakers. You know, that, that, this is a sacred area here between the speakers because the energy that radiates, not to mention the energy that radiates from the room, this is critical. You can't have stuff there. I swear, you know, you, people like to look at the gear more than they listen to the music. Spurious reflections, that's the rack situation. 18 inch drivers in a 100 square foot room, you know, 10 by 10 rooms, I see this a lot. And here's the thinking. I have these drivers, so they have to fit in the room. Well, no they don't, and no they won't fit in the room, okay? The fact that you have it, the room could care less. The room only sees energy. The fact that you want these drivers to fit in this room makes no difference to the room at all. The room only sees energy, and if you're putting too much energy in it, you're going to get the distortions that those dimensions produce. High reverberation times, the reflections, smears, middle and high frequency definition. you got to get your reverb times lowered. More is not better. No low frequency management. you got to manage low frequency in any small room. It's all about surface area coverage. You have to have so much surface area coverage on each wall surface, depending on size, volume, and usage. It's not simple. You have to calculate, all right? Reflection management, we already went through that, middle and high frequency resolution. Low resolution from many, many sources. So churches, you have a lot of people. You get a low resolution, but a high energy got to be the, the reverse. It's got to be less energy, higher resolution, okay? Balance, balance, balance. That's the key. You want this kind of response, not the roller coaster ride. And when you get that balance and you get that definition and you get that separation and you hear every instrument, your natural inclination is to not play loud is to put lower the output, lower the gain, because you're hearing everything. You ever notice in your room that there's a certain pressure level, a certain volume on your knob that everything sounds a lot better? 
Well, there's a good reason to think about balance, balance, and balance. Fun over fidelity. Let's stay in reality, please, with room acoustics so that we can get the highest resolution and definition that our rooms and gear will afford to us. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions, and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum, and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.